Um, hi, my name is Davida Ingram. I am a Seattle-based artist, curator, and educator and writer. So I chose Sonny Asu's piece, Breakfast Series, because he does a couple different things, but along the way, I think he points to foods and native cultures and really, um, in a pop art kind of way, he uses cereal boxes. And when he points to salmon, um, he gets us to think about environmental conservation. And I think natives have always been custodians of the land and that work is ongoing. And I see that built into the conversations of many native artists. One of the things that I find is a really insightful touch is that he finds a way of signaling conversations about settler colonialism um, in ways that I think point to syncretism. I feel like right now there is a very valid defensiveness that communities of color have around appropriation. But when we remember that we are human, and humans have been sharing culture for a very long time and moving across this earth body um, and connecting with one another. That means that we show up with different foods, different textures, different spices, and they get woven in. But when he talks about the banak pops, um, which makes me think of like sugar pops or corn pops, that is a version of fry bread that originated in Scotland. Now the Scottish came over here and they were part of the settlers that colonized. And I find it fascinating that banak was incorporated as a version of fry bread and that it mixes well when you're on the trail. And so I find that um, there are meaningful ways to talk about the versions of whiteness that end up getting woven into the fabric of communities of color. I think the value of Sunny Sue's piece, Breakfast Series in Sam's permanent collection has a lot to do with righting the wrongs of history. Whenever I see indigenous objects in white institutions or mainstream institutions, I immediately think, who was this stolen from? And has any work been done to correct um, that violation? And one way to remedy that altogether is to actually intentionally to collect contemporary native artists. When institutions collect contemporary Native artists, it kind of opens a door that needs to be opened because if there's any community that should be thrived, it's the original communities who these lands belong to, who um, I think patiently, lovingly, and maybe sometimes tolerantly sit with all the different people who've come to their house, who probably aren't leaving anytime soon and we need to pay them their due respect.